so in this teaching aid what we'll be learning is about the area of triangles so this is a triangle let's assume this upper one blue triangle to be triangle number one and uh, the lower one that is this red triangle to be triangle number two so what we see over here is these two triangles coincide each other like uh, they overlap each other so that means the area or the dimensions of both these triangles is exactly the same like uh, you can see here uh, their length their height everything is same so we can say these both are like uh, similar triangles so now what we'll be doing is uh, suppose I'll be cutting the first triangle this blue color triangle such that uh, it cuts through at this altitude so I am cutting this so now it has become into two pieces so now what I'll be doing is I'll be arranging these two blue color uh, pieces of this triangle uh, into this figure such that it makes a rectangle So yeah, it makes a square. So now, what we know is, uh, this is what we call the base, or we can say B, of this uh, red triangle. And uh, this is what we say is height. Or we can say H. The height of uh, this red triangle. So now, when we make this particular figure, we see that the height, the one side of the square is equal to h and the other is equal to b so we can say it a rectangle so from the beginning the simplest of the thing we know the area of any rectangle with dimensions a and b its area is equal to a multiplied by b so when we apply the same formula over this particular figure this rectangle what we can say is area of this whole figure is equal to b into h but now uh, what we need to find is area of a single triangle but this particular thing was made up of two triangles so now what we'll be doing is since this b into h is area of this blue colored plus red colored so we'll be simply dividing it by 2 so what we get is bh by 2 or what we can say is half into base of the triangle into the height of the triangle so this is the simplest way we can derive the area of a triangle.